Hello, guys. We're actually trying to get Spider Man to come yeah, on. Yeah, we are. He's just sat come there. Come on. Come on, Rel. Come here. You can't let us down. Here we go. We are going to have <laughs> Rel come on stream. This is usually the guy who would be casting the event, but he decided to come and play it himself. So he, uh, he's decided to be Spider Man for this very interesting point. Taking a break from saving crime. Uh, solving crime. There he is. There he is. Look at that look. That's quite scary. <laughs> I'm not lie. It's the worst. <laughs> what are you doing in that? That's a very good representation. I've got to say, well, I'm impressed with that. Yeah, you want to speak. Spider-Man, how do you find the event? It is fantastic. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> Oh can't dear. deal, get away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, there we go. That's anyway. the end of Rel. He's off to go and join the guys from Horizon. I believe that is up on main stage. And we have got the winner's bracket final coming up next. This is Infused against Horizon. Another massive match. Yeah, we've got the Infused lineup coming up here. And let's have a look at that if we can. And of course, you know, this lineup have done so, so oh, yeah. well this event. I mean, going into the Prophecy game, a lot of people really thought you know, Prophecy, I'm going to take this. Yeah. yeah, It wasn't one of them ones where you think, yeah, they're going to bat at them. No. But everyone was pretty confident that Prophecy were going to win it. Infuse said no. No, that isn't the case at all. Oh, no, definitely not. Around and beat them well, you know, you've got to think about it. Jake was so pumped for this. I he remember so I, he well. tweeted out earlier, just like, you know, I need to beat Prophecy. I want to beat them. And he just <laughs> went off. And I've got to give another big shout out to Vintage because his AR work, especially in that last map, was absolutely oh, yeah, yeah. phenomenal. Fantastic. He just went him. off and he won them that last map, in my opinion. So, you know, you can't count any of them out again for going big. I say that with a lot of teams. But, you know, looking at that roster, they're all incredible. Yeah, well, the key player for me has to be Jake because mm. I think, you know, Online, I've said this all weekend, he doesn't have the best track record. Yeah. You know, I've watched him play online and I think to myself, you could do better, you could do much better, come on. But it is a lot to do with his connection. Yeah, it for it sure. isn't great. So he does have that problem. Comes to LAN events and absolutely nails it. He has done every single time and he's playing fantastically well here. Winner's bracket final is the first position, is the first time that he's yeah. getting into this position. So I mean, good work by him. We're gonna have a look at the Horizon lineup as well here. There you go, Momo on the left hand side. We then have Kyle, Petey, and McGee. Of course, Momo, the captain, the other part of the VP brothers. Of course, mm -hmm. we did just have his brother, although I'm not sure if Momo would like to admit to that <laughs> on, next to us there. Um, yeah. Of course, that's Rel. But, you know, this lineup, very, very underrated apparently, because coming Seems into so. this, you know, they did have a good seed. They were seeded in third position. But McGee had not been online too much. He's been too social, social, apparently. <laughs> tut, tut, gaming for life. And you know, <laughs> giving I, us a nasty look right now. But for apparently, that. it doesn't matter because they managed to get themselves to the winners' bracket final. So there you go. I mean, Petey is one of these players who's only been around for a little while. Kyle's been around for a while now. As has McGee. Of course, Momo has been around for a good few mm. events. I think ECF3 was his first event. So that's way back now, two years ago now. So, I mean, they, they are the underdogs. They are. Okay. Yeah, Going I'll, I'll call that too. But, you know, look at the way that they took out in, um, TCM earlier on. It went down to the last map. It was a 6-4 last search and destroyed, but still incredibly close. And it looks like TCM are going to be actually playing um, over against Millennium on the feature stage as well. So we'll make sure to keep you updated with that. But we are going to be getting on board with it. Standoff Hardpoint yep. is the first map. And the host, it's just us turn, isn't it? Yeah, host it is. ends it the game. What is it? I know, because they hear us casting think, nah, it's yeah, nah, we don't want that. Of course, uh, I'm trying to work out who Prophecy are going to be playing in that case. I, well, I'm sure we'll get updated on that. I haven't actually had a look at the bracket myself. I know it's going to be a close game. There are still some other games going on around the venue. So, of course, we will try and update you on that as soon as possible. Yeah, we're going to try and find out as soon as we can who Prophecy are playing at the moment. Awesome. Sounds good. I'm excited Mostly for this because one. I want to actually know. Yeah, yeah, same. Not, yeah. not for the stream, just, just for us. Yeah, obviously. yeah, just, really just, just for us. I'm going to find all, out. That's all that we're here for, really. not tell any of you. <laughs> so we are just waiting on this game being started up once again. Standoff, Hardpoint is going to be the map. And it is, it is a good hard point. Get, you know. Oh, we're getting some news. Okay, so insight oh, and expectation, and that's yeah, the winner of insight and expectation I is going to take prophecy. I haven't seen expectation on nope, neither the stream have I. at all this weekend. So expectation doing very well to get this far. Top eight guaranteed by the looks Brilliant. of it. So there you go. I mean, playing very, very well. I, I'm not even sure what their squad is. They've done very.